Hey friends, today we are going to be dining at the world famous Boston Lobster Feast. This is an all you care to enjoy seafood buffet with Maine lobster included with the price and I am so excited. It was voted Florida's best buffet in 2019 by Reader's Digest and I can't wait to try it. Anywho's, let's go do this. This restaurant is only seven minutes away from Walt Disney World and there's three different locations around the Orlando area. They have one on International Drive, one in Celebration, and then this one right here. Recently, I went to Cape May Cafe at Disney's Beach and Yacht Club, and that's a seafood buffet, and it was kind of pricey. You had to pay additional to get lobster, and also you had to pay additional to get crab legs. I believe it was $42 for the buffet, then it was $29 extra for crab legs, and then $49 extra for lobster, and someone said I should check out Boston Lobster Feast, and I've seen the cars driving around, and I'm like, you know, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. If you're from the Orlando area, I'm sure you've probably seen the lobster cars driving around. It's a good way that they advertise the restaurant. There's one right there. Isn't it so cute? I love it. <laughs> oh, it's going right up. Look at that. That is so awesome. I wanted to come up and give you guys a closer look at the lobster car because it is so amazing. Look at this. <laughs> I really do love it. And like I said, this is a way that they advertise because they just drive these cars all around Florida, down International Drive, and you follow the lobster to get to the Boston Lobster Feast. And it looks so cool. I wish I owned one of them. Like, how cool would that be? The restaurant's about me section says that for over 30 years they've been serving all you care to enjoy main lobsters here and they have award-winning clam chowder and not only just seafood they have prime rib on the buffet they've got meatballs and pastas they've got a little bit for everybody so I'm excited we're gonna eat a lot of food and we're gonna try a lot of seafood I mean you're, you're going all in on the lobster so I'm gonna have to have a lot of lobster I mean now I'm very very influenced by that car so uh, I'm excited <laughs> I love everything about this car the little lobster tail all the way in the back the little claws like this is really really cool I don't think the inside has anything like really decorated it'd be cool if they had a red dash no it's just like a regular like inside of a Volkswagen Beetle but wow <laughs> I, I love it it's so cool can you imagine driving around all day and this be your job just drive a lobster car I mean that sounds like such a great thing we're gonna head right on in now and it looks like the hours of operation are 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Friday and then 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. you can make advanced reservations but I'm just gonna walk in and we'll go over the prices once I get in there and see how much it is let me know in the comments if you guys have ever seen one of the lobster cars driving around Florida before or if you've ever eaten at Boston Lobster Feast. I would love to hear your feedback. So let me know in the comments. I'll make sure to check them out. It looks like the price for the feast is $59.95 and then children for 11 are $25.95. And I'm excited. I like how they said the price for the feast featuring lobster, crab, prime rib, sushi, and more. And we're all going all in. They also have an a la carte menu, so if you don't want to eat the buffet, you can actually order like small like entrees, but I mean, I'm here for the feast. I mean, we're here for the lobster feast. This restaurant itself is the newest out of the three locations, and I love how everything is just so clean and like fresh in here. I think it's been open just about a year, but it, it looks really, really good in here. I'm gonna give you a quick run through of the whole buffet line and there are so many options I didn't think it was gonna be this big but it is huge in here and then we're gonna put together a plate and try all of the food and see what's good and what's great of course we've got lobster and then we've got crab legs over there they look at some good oh lobster Dave in the house nice and then we've got uh, oysters Rockefeller we've got some mussels We've got some scallops and then some butter. Looks like they got a nice selection of different fried food items. Fried chicken tenders, fried clam strips, fried mahi, fried calamari, fried shrimp, fried catfish. A lot of good offerings. Look at this. And a lot more too. They've got cornbread casserole. They've got the prime rib back there. A nice little carving station. Look at that. And then over here we got so much more. We've got rolls. We've got barbecue pulled pork. 
We've got corn on the cob, ribs. Oh my lord. Look at this. <laughs> Shrimp scampi, rice, mashed potatoes, gravy, London broil, green beans. It goes on and on and on. And we still have this whole other loop over there. We've got cod, we've got crab cakes, we've got garlic crab clusters, we got red crab, and we've got some more dinner rolls here. And then this looks like, uh, oh, lobster mac and cheese. Look at that. Lobster mac and cheese, seafood casserole, sausage and peppers, steamed mussels, steamed clams, crawfish, cauliflower, mahi-mahi, mixed vegetables, jambalaya, like holy moly, right? Jambalaya, meatballs, pasta, mac and cheese, white rice, and this is beef short ribs? Holy moly. They also have a pretty impressive raw bar here too, and I'll show you that, some sushi. Look at this, we got smoked trout, house smoked salmon, we got some salmon poke, lobster claws, mussels, peel and eat shrimp back there. Everything just looks amazing, doesn't it? Like, I'm so excited. And then we've got a nice little fruit salad area, oranges, lemons, cocktail sauce, octopus salad, tomato cucumber salad, and then here's all the different sushis. Look at it, we got sushi there, clams, oysters, and uh, some Caesar salad right there. So there's a lot to dig into. I forgot to point out the soup. So I'm gonna show you the soup too, and then there's desserts, but we'll wait to the end to show you guys the desserts. You know what I mean? We gotta get our fill full of lobster first. Looks like we got clam chowder, lobster bisque, seafood chowder, and it actually looks really amazing. Look at this. Holy moly. Oh wow. There's a lot, a lot of lobster and shrimp in there. All right, I'm grabbing a plate and we're going in. We're gonna start building our first plate. Oh boy. Can I have a lobster, Lobster Dave? Yes, good. Oh, yes, there we go. go. Yeah, That's the one. That's the one. Fancy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get butter, yeah. There it is, a whole lobster. Now I'm gonna grab some fried chicken. Put the little fried chicken on the plate with the lobster. Uh, this looks like uh, fried shrimp and fried calamari. So we're gonna put a little fried calamari on there. There we go. I don't know if that's calamari or if that's the mahi, because I feel like this might be calamari right here. Yeah, we'll try. Anyway, we'll try it all. Looks like they also have blue crab, shrimp skewers, and salmon. Wow, I think I missed this whole section before, so I'm gonna grab some shrimp skewers here. Let's see, we'll grab this little bad boy right here. Put it right on top. We're back at the table, and they give you a nice little lobster bib, which of course I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Look at this, let me just tie it right around. Perfection, there we go. Now I'm ready, I'm ready for, I'm ready for my lobster. Also, kudos to them for serving Pepsi products. They have Mountain Dew here. I haven't had Mountain Dew in forever. And then we've got Old Bay and then some hot sauce there. And we're gonna dive right on in here. I am so excited. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to try the prime rib. And like they have ribs up there. They have so much different food. So if you don't like seafood, they have so many other offerings. We're gonna need some room. So I'm gonna clear off some of these bad boys like the shrimp. Look at this shrimp, holy moly. It's really nicely seasoned. I don't know if you can see it there, there you go. But, oh yeah, bada boom. Now it's time to dive into the lobster. And if you don't know how to crack open a lobster, they do have people here that'll show you the best ways to get all the meat out. And we're gonna have a little demonstration. All right, Pablo's gonna show us. Okay, first we're gonna see if it's a male or a female. The way we check, we stretch out the tail just like this. And we see this first thing over here. So if it's hard, it's a male. If it's soft, it's a female, okay? Good to know. So, first we're gonna take out the claws. We're gonna pull them down like that and remove them. So we're gonna open that later. You're gonna put one hand on the head, one on the tail. Do a little twist. Separate the head from the tail. We could toss the head because the good meat's in the tail. Yeah, that's the stuff. We're gonna count one, two, break it up, snap and remove. Then we're gonna grab the little fork. So with this little fork, you're gonna stab the part you just revealed. 
just like that. Turn it around, stretch it out, and push through. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing until it comes out. Wow, what okay. a master. Seriously. If you want to go the extra step to clean it, you just peel it back just like a, a shrimp. Remove this part. Toss that and just clean the middle of it. That is awesome. Toss it in butter and enjoy. Nice. Okay. Pablo, you are the man. <laughs> oh wait, you're gonna show us the claws, yeah, yeah, right? For the claw, it's pretty simple. You're gonna pull the thumb back, remove the thumb to remove this part, just like that. All it takes is one crack and a snap. So you're gonna do one crack down the middle and a snap. See oh that? wow. Boom. That is amazing. While I'm here, I'll do the other one. It's kind of aesthetically pleasing. Again, <laughs> right. you right? Like the yeah. crack and. Look at that, oh wow, juice is flying out there. Mm. That is absolutely amazing. Now you could eat 20 lobsters and enjoy. Nice, thanks Pablo. <laughs> Pablo killed that. Like, look at this, holy moly, look at all the lobster. And he said, now you can have 20 lobsters and enjoy. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a little dunk here, I'm gonna dunk it. Gonna dunk that lobster. Cheers to lobster. Mm. <laughs> wow. That was so juicy. Holy moly. <laughs> I like took a big bite and I think I just soaked it too long in the butter and it just like it was like <laughs> a waterfall of butter and juices just running down my throat. I'm happy I'm wearing my lobster bib. I feel like I should get another lobster later on and try to crack it open. Pablo was like a master. He was really, really good. I have cracked lobsters before in the past, but I wouldn't say I'm a pro. You know what I mean? So I would like to see how well I can do compared to him because he that was excellent. That's gonna be a little bit later on though, because I wanna try all the other food first. But first, I gotta, I gotta finish up the lobster I got here. You know, I think they only let you have one lobster per trip, you know what I mean? So you can't go up there and be like, can I have five lobsters on the plate, please? Just one. <laughs> time to head back up and grab ourselves another plate. And this time, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of a variety. I wanna try little bits of everything. I wanna try the meatballs and the sausage and peppers and the shrimp and the prime rib. I wanna get it all. I also like how I'm just walking around with my bib on. Walking around the buffet with the bib on. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it home. Let's grab a little sausage and peppers. I'm gonna put that on the plate right there. There you go. Take a little crawdaddy, you know. Come here, little crawdaddy. Put them right there. Then we've got some jambalaya. Oh, I should've waited, because then I could've had the crawdaddy that was in the jambalaya. There we go. Scoopsy jambalaya. Some meatballs. I told you, they got a little bit of everything here. I couldn't fit anything else on the plate because I, I wanted to get the prime rib, but it, they cut off big portions. And plus, I'm gonna need a lot of au jus with it. So I just grabbed a little bit of everything, a little bit of sausage, a little bit of ribs, one meatball, one meatball. <laughs> my, my meatball song from Meg there. Mmm. It's good meatball. The jambalaya, I'm a little bit hesitant about. I mean, it doesn't look like any jambalaya I've had before. So I'm kind of like, mm, we'll give it a go though. We're gonna try it. I would have loved to see some gumbo so I can have some gumbo jambalaya mix, but not too sure about this. I haven't seen any like, peppers. I've seen some shrimp and some crawfish in there, but nothing really jambalaya-ish. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like yellow rice. <laughs> yeah, just kind of tastes like yellow rice. Nothing really else to it. Uh, now I'm gonna try some ribs. Look at these bad boys. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to just bite into it. Try a little piece, a little teaser, a little teaser. Okay, sounds good, feels good. I'm going all in now. The ribs are actually really, really good. I wasn't expecting good ribs at a seafood restaurant, and the barbecue sauce has a little kick to it. Definitely a little spice in there. 
every time I come to all you can eat buffets or restaurants like this, I find something that I like. Now, I really like the ribs and the lobster, and I want to eat more of it, but I, at the same time, I don't want to get full because I want to show you everything and I want to try a little bit of everything. I'm like one of those persons that try just little tiny samples of everything, and it looks like a lot because you're going to get like multiple plates, but on the plate itself, like you don't even have one meatball, one little rib, but I like exploring the different things instead of just eating one constant. Yeah, yeah, I'll take some. We're gonna have some prime rib. Can you put it in the au jus? Oh yeah. Look, oh, look at that. That's the way. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Oh boy, yes. They gave me such a big piece of prime rib. Look at this, holy moly. I wanna get the outside though. I love the outside because it's always got that good seasoning on there. So we're gonna take that right there. I'm gonna soak it in a little bit more in the au jus. I also grabbed some red skin mashed potatoes. So put a little bit on there as well. There we go. Make a perfect little bite right there. You guys know I do love me a good prime rib. So we'll find out how good it is. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> Gonna go in for another bite. Gotta get lots of au jus though. Mm. The prime rib is good, but those mashed potatoes are so good. I love it. I love red skin mashed potatoes. I wonder if they actually make them in house here. I got a little au jus on top of that there. And they also have gravy. Maybe we'll get some gravy. Now that we knocked out like the meatballs and the prime rib and the sausage, which actually everything was really, really good. I mean, it's not the best. You know, it's a seafood restaurant. The ribs though, the ribs were very good. But uh, now that we knocked those out of the way, it's back to some more seafood. Let's grab some blue crab legs here. Perfect. We're gonna try some oysters Rockefeller right here. And then maybe, I don't know about the Southwest mussels there. I mean, they look good, but the St. Jacques scallops. Ooh, I'm torn, I don't know which one to go with. Maybe this one, here we go. Oh yeah. Got some crab legs? Of course. Some crab legs from Lobster Dave. That's right. Thank you, excellent. Oh, perfect, that's the way. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, that's good. I'm gonna eat a lot of that. <laughs> Ooh, some, some, oh, I'm coming back for lobster. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm gonna grab some clam strips while I'm here. Then also maybe some fried catfish. Yeah, let's get a little catfish, huh? A little catfish dinner. All right, now we got some crab legs some oysters Rockefeller, and then some fried catfish. Let's try the catfish first here. Mmm. The breading is where it's at. I remember struggling with crab legs for the longest time. You gotta get that right out there. I think this is gonna be another one of those days where I need to run to Epcot to get some good smelling cologne. I'm gonna smell like seafood real bad today, but I'm cracking open the crab legs here. Oh yeah, I remember I had such a hard time with crab legs and now I've learned kind of a great way to actually get them done where you get a nice big piece full and like I try to get it all out in one bite. You know what I mean? I try to get like the whole lot. Oh wow, look at that. Completely empty, look at that. And then bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I forgot I didn't have any butter. I didn't get any butter. Oh well, we're just gonna eat it this way. This is my first time trying Oysters Rockefeller too, so I'm excited to see what it's like. Oh wow, look at that. Gotta get a little bit of everything there. This is me being really adventurous here. Oh, it's not bad. It's actually really good, holy moly. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second here. Oh, that is so good. Holy moly. 
I always get super happy when I try something uh, for the first time and I like it a lot. I don't know why I've never had oysters at Rockefeller before. I think it's just because of the timing, but uh, I had opportunities before and now today's the day and I kind of like it a lot. Now I think I want to try a little bit of the soup here. So we're going to get a little bit of the, the lobster bisque. Put that right in there. Just a little bit, not a lot. And then maybe a little bit of the clam chowder right over here. There we go. Just a little bit, just a touch. Excellent. All right, now we're going to try the lobster bisque first. I'm going to get a lot of good lobster in there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> now for the award-winning clam chowder. That's good too. I like the lobster bisque a lot better though. I mean, that, I mean, they really have so much lobster inside there. Oh, and also, I grabbed the crab cake. A little tiny crab cake. So, we can try the crab cake too. Okay, not bad. This lobster bisque though, that is actually super amazing. That one I highly recommend. Uh, the, the clam chowder, it's okay. I feel like that should be the award winning lobster bisque. Like that's the winner right there. I'm starting to get a little bit full here though. Oh boy. So I think we better revert back to the lobster business because that's what you're paying for. You're paying for, you know, all you care to enjoy Maine lobster. And uh, I definitely want to at least get one more lobster in me. You know, one more lobster. I wish we were playing the lobster game at the boardwalk. I don't know why I just thought of that. That's so random. All right, Mr. Morrow has come back for more lobster. Lobster me, Lobster Dave. Oh, there we go. That's the way. Oh, this one's pretty. <laughs> All right, it's lobster time. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's hard. There you go. <laughs> and you gotta take the lid, the claws off. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's rip this bad boy off. Get that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely did not do as clean of a job as Pablo did, but here she is. Lobster tails all day. Round three, fight. Gora wins. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, look at that. Perfection. I think I'm thrown in the towel. I think I'm lobstered out here. Whew. That was a lot. There was a lot of food, but we still have to look at the desserts. And then I was thinking right next door is a Wizard Gift Shop. Because, you know, we're on 192. So I thought it'd be fun to actually go walk it off a little bit and uh, go through some really cool gift shops on 192. Well, the desserts aren't looking that promising. Looks like we've got some Hershey's ice cream, cotton candy, birthday cake, lemon ice. Then we've got some flan. These look like some churros over here. Chocolate chip cookie, oatmeal raisin. A lot of this stuff isn't marked, so I don't know really what it is. But I wouldn't mind trying it. <laughs> I think we're gonna grab some churros though. Yeah, grab a couple churros there. And then this looks like a chocolate chip cake. I don't even know. We'll see what it is, but I'm gonna try it. And then this might be like a lemon tart maybe. Yeah, the dessert department is definitely lacking a little bit. <laughs> I mean, nothing was really marked and they didn't have many options, but the churros look good here with a little chocolate sauce on them. Yeah. And I'm not too sure what this is. I don't know, it looks pretty good though. Mm, I'm gonna find out. Yeah, it's like a chocolate chip, like brownie thing. Ch 
chocolate chip brownie thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, we'll talk about everything. I'm going to give you guys my full, like, kind of review and my thoughts and comparing it to Cape May Cafe uh, once we get outside. But, yeah, the desserts, definitely not too good. Well, that was awesome. And honestly, for the price, you can't go wrong, especially when it comes to the lobster. You know what I mean? Lobster is such a very expensive food item. And to be able to have all you care to enjoy, today I ate three lobsters. Like, I don't think I would have ever been able to say that. You know what I mean? Today I ate three lobsters. Doesn't that sound amazing? And plus, a whole bunch of other food. Some of the menu items were just kind of like, you know, meh. But, you know, like I said, the ribs were really good. The lobster bisque. The lobster itself was really awesome. So I think it is a really, really good buffet, especially if you're big into the seafood, you know what I mean? And if you were to get something like that at Cape May Cafe, it would cost you like $120. And you wouldn't be able to get all you can eat crab legs or all you can eat lobster. And this being only like seven, eight minutes away from Disney, I feel like it's a really good option to come to. Um, but like I said, like the desserts definitely need some improvement. The rest of the buffet, like I said, it's like, meh, it's, it's buffet food, but lobster all the way now i think we're gonna head over to the wizard gift shop and do a little gift shopping on 192 before we make our way over there gotta say goodbye to my favorite little lobster car me icon that's what that uh license plate is m-e-i-c-o-n <laughs> that's so funny lobster good food plain and simple i just love it <laughs> I really do. I'm going to want to take a photo with this every time I come near it. And there's the wizard right there. And there is the wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. They also have Indian cuisine. If you guys aren't familiar with this area, this is like the main gate area. They have tons and tons of gift shops here. In fact, there's a gift shop attached to the Boston Lobster Feast. Like it's right next door, but it's not like the wizard one. I think this one just says gift shop and then it has a dolphin on top there. Just has a random dolphin on top. <laughs> I still think it would be cool to check it out. So we're gonna head over to the, the random dolphin gift shop and then we're gonna hop over to the wizard. Just, uh, just let's just see what's in the dolphin gift shop. Dolphin. <laughs> Disney clearance, Disney clearance. A lot of this stuff always has basically the same stuff, uh, but some of them are special. You can find little gems. Ooh, look at these Epcot World Showcase ears. Like that's a little hidden gem there. That's actually Disney Parks, I think. That's really fancy actually. And the child, these mannequins are really well. I thought that was really somebody right there. One thing you can always find in these uh, little gift shops are alligator heads and lights made out of beer bottles. I feel like it's a staple in any gift shop on 192. So I'm sure we're gonna find some of them here. And would you look at that, just like I told you, <laughs> beer bottle lights. And it's kind of funny because they're $27.99 and they have Miller Lite, Land Shark, Corona, and then they have Miller High Life, the champagne of beer. And I feel like that one should be cheaper. You know what I mean? Because these are all $27.99, but Miller High Life is really cheap, so I feel like we should get a discount. And then right across from the uh, beer bottle lights, alligator heads. <laughs> alligator heads, alligator eggs. A little bit of everything. $119 for this bad boy right here. Arr. They also have alligator back scratchers. Look at this. Hmm? Yeah, it's just pretty good job. I'm not finding many really cool Disney items. Ooh, that's kind of funny. Drunk one <laughs> for Universal Studios. Drunk one. Uh, I would hope it says drunk two. Oh no, trouble one. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not seeing many here. I don't see uh, any Disney like shirts or anything. And most of the stuff is stuff you find at like Walmart and stuff. I see some Stitch shirts here. But like I said, this stuff isn't like Disney parks. It just says Disney. So you can get this stuff at like your local Walmart or Target. You want the good stuff and I'm not really seeing any here. Some Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, the Dolphin gift shop isn't really a winner. So maybe we'll make our way over to the wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. I can't stop. <laughs> I do want to see how much these little plushes are because I figure at Disney if you bought like a Mickey Mouse plush you're probably looking at like $20 maybe $25 so let's see how much they are here $17.99 mm, that's not too bad it's definitely cheaper but it makes you wonder is it worth driving all the way off Disney property to save 
four or five dollars for a stuffed animal like i said the stuffed animals you can get for probably around twenty dollars maybe 25 and they're selling them for like 17.99 here now t-shirts yeah that's a different story and stuff you want to take home wait i just realized i've been wearing my bib the whole entire time walking around that gift shop <laughs> I'm just walking around with a Boston Lobster bib. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's the Grand Floridian robe thing again. Now that we left the random dolphin gift shop with my bib on, we might as well just make our way over to the wizard, the magic castle. And there is a magic castle on the inside. I just love seeing all these different gift shops on 192. I always drive by them. Now, it's not really like the good like Disney products are, but they're just kind of, there's something about them. Just staring into those wizard's eyes. You know what I mean? You can get lost, almost captivated. I think at this point, I'm just gonna keep the bib on. I mean, I probably reek of seafood and butter, and now I'm walking around with a bib, <laughs> and I'm just kind of going through gift shops. It's a little bit windy out here. <sighs> but let's make our way into the magic castle. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. It's like a vaulted ceiling in here. This is actually so cool. Look at that. And it's guarded by the Mandalorian. <laughs> it's guarded by the Mandalorian and Beast. And I love this ceiling. You got little Mickey balloons up there. Do you see the hidden Mickey? This is really, really cool. This might be probably the best gift shop I think I've ever seen on 192. Hands down. Look at the little Dumbos. Well, this is a little sad, but they have uh, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom uh, card readers or card benders, and it's no longer there. So it's really sad that it's kind of just sitting here. Look at that. And they're selling them still for $12.99, but <laughs> there'd be no point. And this is Disney Parks exclusive, actually. So that's why it's really fancy that it's here. $16.99 to $12.99, but there'd be no point. And oh, this is Parks exclusive, too. This is Walt Disney World. See how it says it on there? So this one is $34.99? No, that don't seem right. $34.99. Definitely too expensive for that. Or you can buy that giant aerial for $34.99. Do you remember what I told you was a staple over at the other gift shop? Well, you'll never believe what's on this shelf over here. We got a bunch of alligator heads and actually a really big alligator. And then, of course, the beer bottle lamps. Right next to each other, just like the other store. It's like every single store. It's like it, it has to have them. Well, I guess with that, we're just gonna call it a day here. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought of Boston Lobster Feast. Let me know if you would like to dine there and if you think it's worth the price. Like, I still think like the other items at Cape May Cafe probably are, were like a little bit better, but for the price, I mean, if you love lobster, this is really hard to pass up. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.